Tools tab, by default, you have access to a few things. For example, you can manage your add-ins, customize the interface, change the options, or manage settings, which is a great way of saving specific configurations of TopSolid to share with other users across your installation. In this example, I'm going to go to Options, but before I do, I'm going to point out one more thing. This little black triangle right here is a drop-down menu. It gives you access to the same tools in menu format. Maybe you're not an icon guy. No problem. Go to the drop-down menu, find what you're looking for. In this case, we're going to choose Options, and I'm going to show you, by default, some of the things that you can modify within the options of Top Solid. For example, on the general section, you can change the icon size. I have mine set to medium because that's what I like. The general unit of measure, either metric or imperial, also known as inches. From here, you can manage the system colors. Everything in Top Solid has a meaning. Be sure to pay attention to these color schemes as you work. Next, you have design color. Design colors such as under constrained, fully constrained, over constrained. If you wanted to change these, for example, the under constrained color, maybe you don't like purple, maybe you want it to be blue. Select it, click OK. If at any time you make a mistake or want to reset back to system standards, just come down to the bottom right, click reset. The only other thing I'm going to talk about in here is under the display section. Under display in dynamic, you have the ability to invert the mouse wheel. For example, what this means is when you zoom with top solid, the zoom by default is that when you scroll the wheel towards you, you're bringing the object closer to you or zooming up. And if you scroll the wheel away from you, you zoom away. In some softwares, that is inverted. And if your brain is used to the inverted way, just come in here and choose invert mouse wheel. Also down here, I would activate draw edges in dynamic mode. What this does is keeps all the edges of the model visible during dynamic rotation. If you're working on really, really, really big assemblies, you might want to turn that off to save on some of the graphics. Finally, under the general section. This is a best case example of your default settings for graphics control. If you ever have a graphics problem, it is best to contact your support technician and have them help you manipulate these settings. Once you're done setting things up in Tools Options, green check mark saves your work.